Okay, um, problems with uh, USB not recognized. When I plug in my BlackBerry, you can hear it. It's going to do a beep beep. Right there, that beep beep tells me that it doesn't recognize it, even though I just installed the BlackBerry software. So, uh, being the good user that I am, I go through the instructions and I find that I need to read through this and I need to go to the support forum and that's going to load this page and I need to download the drivers which for whatever reason are not included so I download the software then it's going to ask me to log in again it's going to ask me to fill in all my information again I'm a little fed up with that because I've done this I don't know how many times. So I'm going to say I'm irritated now. My job title is irritated. My company, LMC. And da 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 da. Remember me. Yes. 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 And next. So in a couple seconds, it's going to download the software, I hope. State of province is required. Great. And there we go. Tick, tick, tack, tack, tick, tack, tick, tack. And software downloads. Declare eligibility. I am declaring my eligibility even though I have done this. Uh, why isn't it included in the software installation? So I download it. Save the file and hopefully in a couple seconds relatively fast estimated time eight minutes 29 seconds i'll pause for your for your sanity sake okay it looks like it's installed let's go take a look at it and where'd it go uh tuck, 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 tuck. where did it go modem okay Let's install that. Preparing install. It's doing something. Again, the installation of 4.6 did not include uh, did not include the um, yes, I know. I'm going to close it. Yes, I'm going to close it. Finish. Okay, I'm turning it off. I'm trying to turn it off. It's not reacting. Task manager. Uh, let's see, what is it called? Blackberry redirector? No. Uh, what is it called? Uh, I'm going to shut down Outlook. Outlook hasn't been shutting down pro properly recently. Um, and let's see, MSI Exec, what's that? I don't see the BlackBerry Redirector in this list. So, um, let me try again. It's not activating with the right click. So, how do I turn it off? Let's go to all programs. Uh, tech, tech, tech. Where's Black Blackberries up here? Desktop redirector. Let's see if it shows up. Uh, open. Not doing anything. Disabled. Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. So now I'm going to turn it off. Yes. And now I'm going to install software again or attempt installation. Preparing to install. It's doing something. The hard drive is spinning. And I'm going to click next. Hmm. Install Shield Wizard next. 
That's interesting. Why is it giving me this? Why is it reinstalling all this? Okay, next. Install. It looks like it's reinstalling BlackBerry desktop software. Uh, it's currently suspended. Do you? Well, um, I don't know why it's doing that because I just downloaded this and installed the USB and modem drivers. So why is it doing that? I don't know why it's doing that. Let's see what's going on here. Probably going to have a bunch of MSI execs again. One, two, three, four. And it's still rolling back the action. Oh man, I tell you, BlackBerry desktop is not user friendly. This is taking so much of my time, I can't begin to tell you. What is it doing now? Updating, copying new files, registering product, status. And what is it doing? I'm going to pause. Okay, that's looking promising. I haven't seen that in a long time. I don't want to read the README file and finish. All right, so uh, let's. Where's Blackberry? Oh, great. Um, it's not there anymore. <laughs> Uh, so all programs, BlackBerry, Desktop Manager, yeah, no surprise, DLL not found, oh my gosh, uh, I'm going to try that again, I don't know if that's the way to do it, but I'm just floored again by how difficult installing the BlackBerry software has been. Um, I'm going to remove it and I'm going to remove all user settings and I'm going to remove it and hopefully that will fix whatever problems and I'll try reinstalling again later. Um, good grief, what a nightmare.